All right, guys. So today we're going to be checking out the brand new Levertone Air Plus 2. Now, when we checked out the first gen, it was one of the first premium pair of true wireless earbuds where you were paying a premium price, but you were getting so many different features and you can tell with the product itself that they put a lot of time into the design. So with the second gen still coming in at a premium price, because these actually retail for $230, even though the company did send a code that you guys can use on Amazon, uh, which brings it all the way down to 199 bucks. But still in this price range, uh, there's a lot of competition. We just looked at the brand new Liberty 3 Pros. A lot of the other higher end noise canceling earbuds are in this price range. We're gonna see how the Libertone stack up. We're gonna see all of its features. We're gonna talk about the sound and see if it could possibly be worth the $230 price tag. Now, one thing I wanna start with, since I said this has a premium price tag, uh, it does have a very Apple-like unboxing experience. The Everything about it's just really clean. Uh, when you start taking out accessories, the USB-C cable is wrapped up nicely, kind of like they do with the cables you get with different Apple products. And then also the way that they put the ear tips in the packaging is the exact same way that Apple does it with the AirPods Pros. So you can tell they definitely did want to make sure that your unboxing experience kind of matches the price. Now, as far as the technology on this pair, it does have Bluetooth 5.2. It is using a flagship Qualcomm 5141 chip. And this also has the true wireless mirroring connection. Uh, it's very fast to connect. And in fact, you can actually connect it to three different devices. So it makes it pretty easy to just go from one device to the other uh, without having to go into settings and do uh, something different each time. Now, as far as Bluetooth codex, it does have Aptex, AAC, and SBC. And because of that Qualcomm chip, uh, it also has a very low latency when it comes to movies, videos, and games. In fact, I didn't experience any kind of lag throughout all of my testing, uh, no matter what I was using it on. So this is definitely one of those pairs that you can use uh, for all different types of media. Now, as far as using these outdoors, it does come in rated at IP54. So it has a pretty high level of dust protection. So if you're looking for a pair, uh, if you're gonna be using them outdoors or if you're using them on a construction site or anywhere where there's dust or if you drop it at the beach, this will help keep it protected uh, from dust getting in the earbuds. Now, as far as the water level protection, it's kind of on the lower end, but you're gonna be fine if you're outdoors and it starts to rain or you sweat heavily or they get splashed on, uh, but definitely do not submerge these into water. Now, before you start using these, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is download Libertone's app. And the reason that's important is obviously it will keep your earbuds updated, but there's also an ear tip test to make sure that you're using the right ear tips. You have a lot of control over the noise canceling. Now it does have an automatic mode, which will just adjust depending on the situation you're in and your surroundings, but you can go in and fine tune just number by number how much you want these to block out because it says it blocks up to 30 decibels, uh, but you can start at 30 and then just kind of tone it back if you want to start to hear a little bit more of your surroundings. Uh, but it also has an ambient mode. So if you do need to hear your surroundings or somebody comes up to talk to you, you can switch it into that mode and just carry on a conversation without actually taking the earbuds out. Now, some other things that the app does is it does have some pre-built EQ options. Again, it also has an auto EQ feature, which will adjust if your ear tip is not fitting in right. It'll adjust depending on your surroundings to kind of make sure you're getting that same sound experience uh, no matter how your earbuds are in or no matter what situation you're in. But if you want to, you can also go between their bass boost mode and their treble boost mode or just put it in neutral. But we will talk about that a little bit more uh, when we talk about the sound. And so now let's go ahead and talk about the active noise canceling and the ambient mode because the noise canceling on here is a hybrid ANC and I think it actually does a really good job of blocking out my surroundings. If I'm in a room with an AC unit or if I'm on a plane with an engine or a vehicle with an engine noise going on, it does a really good job of blocking out these type of sounds. But I did notice if I'm in an area where there's a lot of people talking or a TV going on or anything like that, 
um, it doesn't do as good a job blocking out those noises. So this isn't on the level of the Sony or Bose when it comes to active noise canceling. I would still say that it's better than most earbuds, but it does come with that premium price tag. So you do expect it to kind of compete with those. And uh, even comparing it to the Liberty 3 Pros that we just checked out, the ANC on these is not as good as the sound core. So do keep that in mind if you're looking for noise canceling alone. But the ambient mode on here is very impressive. I, I felt like I was able to hear my surroundings where it didn't sound too artificial and it was very easy to carry on a conversation uh, and not feel like I was limited because I had earbuds in my ears. Now moving over to checking out the actual earbuds and the case itself, uh, the battery life on these are just okay. Uh, you can look to get around six hours on the earbuds themselves with around 24 hours using the case. Now there's no fast charge feature or at least no information that I could find on them, but a huge plus is this case is a Qi wireless charging case. But in this price range, that is kind of expected. So I am glad that they did that, but I am disappointed that I couldn't find anything on these having a fast charge feature. Now moving over to actually looking at the case, uh, if you picked it up and really just glanced at it, it looks exactly like an AirPods case. Uh, you can see on the back, you have the pairing button, again, just like the AirPods. And then on the bottom, this is very unique. It has a USB-C input, but that USB-C input is also your indicator light. So as soon as you plug it in, you can see that it's charging. Uh, and this is also where you can see how much battery life is left on the case. And then when you open the lid to these, this is another area that's different than the AirPods because the front lid actually almost comes all the way down to the bottom. So when you lift it up, uh, you can see the earbuds completely. Like you can see the bottom all the way to the top. They just magnetize into here and it's a very premium looking earbud. We've seen this design before, so I was kind of hoping for a different look just to make these stand out a little bit more than previous models but it does have a premium look to it. Uh, the fit is really nice. This is a very comfortable pair of earbuds. Now it also uses touch controls, but I am gonna say that the controls on here are frustrating. It's because they only allow you two different options. You only have double tap and triple tap. So without them having the single tap function, uh, it makes you feel kind of limited when it comes to controls. So what I did was I went into the app and I changed it where the double tap function allowed me to move my tracks forward and go backwards. Uh, and my triple tap allowed me to control the volume. But because these have a smart sensor, I didn't worry so much about player pause because you can take one earbud out and have it just automatically pause. But it does keep you from having the ability to switch between your active noise canceling, your transparency mode, and all of that. Because it does give you that out of the box. But if you want that, you're not going to have track control or volume control. So again, because these can get an update within the app, hopefully they can fix that. Uh, really, the only problem is taking away that single tap function. Now, for you guys that do like to use your earbuds for phone calls, uh, this is another area I think they did a very good job on. Uh, but what I was really impressed with was how it focused in on my voice in noisy environments. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right, guys. So here is a mic test using the Libertone Air Plus 2s. Again, I think it does a really good job of picking up my voice. I'm very impressed with the fact that it picks up bass tones, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here's the mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound because we've talked about all of the features. We've talked about noise canceling uh, and basically the fact that these come with a premium price tag but does the audio match that price tag? And I'm gonna say yes, and I'm also going to say no at the same time. And the reason I'm saying this is out of the box, it has a very warm sound, it has really nice punchy bass, and the mids even are very forward, but because of that warmer sound signature, they sound really natural. Uh, the treble also somehow has the ability to sound very bright, uh, which again, because of that warmer sound and that punchy bass, it has a really nice full sound to them. But where I have an issue as far as the sound quality goes is if you don't like that type of sound signature, going between the different EQ options, uh, it doesn't give you a lot of control. I mean, it's, it's pre-built EQ options 
and they don't do a lot to adjust the audio. I mean, the treble boost does boost the treble, but it doesn't tame down the bass any. And the bass boost mode boosts the bass some, but even switching over into neutral mode, you still have a warm sound signature, you still have a pretty boomy bass, and a pretty bright treble. So neutral isn't really neutral, but if you like a warm sound signature and you like a dynamic sound with boomy bass and bright treble and a pretty forward mids, this is really an excellent pair when it comes to audio. Same thing with sound stage and the sound imaging. It, it's a fairly open sounding earbud. And as far as being able to tell where anything's coming from, this pair has no issue with being able to handle that. So my overall opinion is, yes, it is a premium price, but you are getting a premium product. The problem is there's just so much competition. And without these having a fast charge feature and with the controls feeling very limited and really not responding that well to EQing, um, you're kind of stuck in the way that they want you to have these. Like you just don't feel like you have as much customization as other earbuds. But I still think it's an excellent product but I still think they're kind of limiting who this product's for because it kind of feels held back, especially in a price range and a market where earbuds are competing with headphones and having LDAC support and high-res audio. Um, there's some really good options in this price range, which kind of makes these a little hard to stand out. But guys, that's my video on the brand new Libratone Air Plus 2s. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.